like it. Like it, baby. <laughs> If you're interested to see how I achieve this look, then stay tuned. Hello loves, and welcome back to my channel. Today, guess what? We have the Curls, Kinks, and Co. wig in the style head turner by Sensational. In the color T2BG. That's burgundy. This is another lace front wig. I'm gonna try to do a different um, technique, like method for applying the lace this time because the last time, last time I did this with lace front, I was struggling y'all. Ooh, ooh, okay. I'm getting excited, I'm getting excited. It comes in one, 1B, two, four, T227. Um, T230, T2613, and T2BG, which is the one that I have. This is synthetic hair, but it is safe to heat up to 350 degrees. I'm sorry, 350 to 400 degrees, which I think is really cool. So you can like straighten it out, I guess, or put more curls in it. There's two combs in the front, a comb in the back, two stretch bands on the sides. This one has the baby hairs the baby hairs we're gonna see we're gonna see if i can if i can do these baby hairs today i'm gonna try to swoop them i got my good old i got my good old olive oil eco style y'all by the way shout out to my friend danielle for putting me onto this because y'all this is this is life this is life this is so good shout out to you sis i love you out of the box i am loving her color okay she is giving it she's giving it look at this curls folded away from your face it's another side part so she you know but look at it though let me see how the shedding is two strands fingers no strands no strands okay shedding is not too bad smells smells good smells like new shoes the curls back here look how luscious and soft these are wait can y'all see it look at how luscious and soft these girls are back here they're like ooh. okay i have to um set this aside set her aside because i need to figure out what's going on here i need to push my edges back um so i'm gonna do that first and then i'm gonna get the wig prep the wig i had this headband from a really really long time ago that i just decided to go ahead and use to make my wigs tighter because I really do have a small head and then I went in and I just put makeup on the underside of the lace before I put it on my head. liking the way she's looking so far i don't want to do too much i like the length too it's not too long um <laughs> it's not too long um and it's not a lot of hair either like i reviewed a wild one a couple of videos ago and wild like wild one she was wild like she was a lot of hair but this i like this i like the color too ah Ah! 
How am I gonna do this? Pray for me. So I did one coat, I'm gonna let it dry. Um, I did get uh, some hairspray like on the actual hairline of the hair. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Oh, ciao. Okay, see? So the thing about this method that I'm already learning is that like I hairspray, I just need to, I guess, hairspray in smaller sections because like this, all this is hairspray. So I like hairspray this whole thing to my head and I don't have to like go in and peel. I mean, it's not, it doesn't hurt or anything, but and I don't have that much makeup on right now, but I'm going to cut up the middle of the lace and then I'm going to use my straight razor and I'm going to just like razor the edge of it as close to, as close to the hairline as possible. Here we go. Child, I can't see with these lashes. <laughs> I'm looking like this, but I can't see with my lashes. Okay, I need to get closer. Let me turn. Okay. This part was kind of difficult for me because I was trying to cut the lace as close to the edge of the hairline as possible, but I didn't want to cut off any baby hairs, and I also didn't want to cut off any of my real hair. Like, if you can tell, the lace goes over my actual edges, and I really did not want to cut off my edges. <laughs> I was very, very scared of that. So... I wasn't really cutting as close as possible in the beginning, but once I got more comfortable, especially on the other side, I decided to just go for it and use the scissors to kind of guide my path um, in cutting the lace. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of my got to be glued. Spray some on the rat tail comb. And I'm gonna lay down the little edges, like the edges of the lace that wasn't, um, like that, that I had to pull up in order to glue it to my scalp. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. All the glue, I mean, all of the lace front of the wig is glued down with hairspray, got to be glued. And I haven't done the baby hairs. I'm just gonna go in real quick with some water wipe and take off the excess hairspray that's around my hairline um, because you don't want that. You don't want that. I am gonna have to reapply my makeup though. All right. So we're gonna let this girl out, see what she's looking like. Oh wow, head turner, oh wow. Okay, oh okay, all right. Babe, look at this hair.
two color, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, very nice. <laughs> He's so annoying. I'm gonna go with my edge brush and my eco style. The battle with these baby hairs is constant. It took me so long. First of all, I had when I had put the got to be glued on my lace, I glued a lot of the baby hairs to the actual hair. So I found myself having to go back in and like cut off some of the actual wig hair to use as baby hair in order to slick some of them down. And then like there it like some of them just weren't full enough, so I had to like put more gel on it and then it got to be goopy and then I was like I don't like the way that these baby hairs are laying. And so I had to like cut and then like put apply more and then cut and then apply more. All in all, it worked out, and you'll see that now. I take a break. Okay. These baby hairs should be laid down. I decided to go in with my makeup brush and my face powder to tint the part and the part of the lace where the baby hairs was coming out from that you can see because I still felt like it was a little bit too light for my skin tone. So I just wanted to, you know, melt that thing into my skin a little bit more. And this is the finished look. I love how this bang came out. I'm loving all the curls that are in the wig. I'm loving the color. The baby hairs was a struggle, but I feel like they turned out so great. I really, really love this wig. back of it looks so good and so luxurious like the curls are so bouncy honestly you would not think this is a synthetic hair wig like look at that movement yes look at that body yes i'm super super happy with how this turned out and super proud of myself that it actually looks good i kind of feel like i put too much makeup over here where the lace is at um but since this is the only part that shows i'm not too i'm not too mad about it i am just really proud of myself for actually getting this this time because i don't feel like a hot mess okay i'm gonna go in with my wide tooth comb and i'm going to just kind of comb it out a little bit just to see what the curls look like not so uh defined in hindsight, I really wish that I hadn't done this because I really don't like how it looks with all the volume and with the curls combed out. I will say that this texture is um, a lot straighter. Um, it, it's still kind of coarse, but it is a lot like a straighter texture. So it's kind of like a blowout that you went over with a flat iron like on like 200 degrees. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm getting better. Make sure to like this video. Leave a comment below. What did you think about this wig? Do you like the color? Are you thinking about getting one yourself? Subscribe to my channel. And, oh, don't forget to turn on post notifications so that every Saturday and Tuesday, you know that I have a video going up. And remember to obey your journey.